Okay, so I'm going to type out another word. I'm going to go with jumping jack on this one because I'm going to start to uh, shuffle these letters up a little bit. I'm going to start mixing them up to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to make sure that I'm happy with the font style that I've chosen because I'm about to convert the text into being a picture. So if I right click on my text, I can create outline. And once I do that, so I'm going to do that now. So I've right clicked, create outline, and you will see all these little blue anchor points. If I just zoom in there, zoom in using the control key and the plus key at the same time. You can see all these little anchor points. This is now a drawing. So when I click on it using the select tool, I can no longer change the font because it doesn't recognize it as text. It is a drawing. So I have all these letters that are grouped together and I want to ungroup them and I do that by right clicking and clicking ungroup. So now if I was to select these they will select individually. So I can still use my color palettes I can still change the fill color and the outline color on each one. I can also still use the um, the stroke weight tool. I'm going to go ahead and change the color and outline of every single letter just to make it look a bit more interesting but I don't want to bore you to death so I'm going to pause the record while I do that and then I'll show you what I'd like you to do next. And there we go. I've changed all the different colors of the fills and I've changed all the different colors of the outlines. What you can do next is select the individual letters and then using the tools around the letter you can start to jumble and shuffle the letters up. So I can move it around, I can resize it and using the same corner so rather than resize if I just hover off the corner a little bit it changes from being a resize tool to a rotate tool so I can rotate the letter as well and I can overlap them I can squash them up a bit so to hover off the outside corner we'll let you rotate so this is where you can really start to make text look unique. You can come up with your own logos. This one in particular would be good for uh, childlike logos because it's a little bit all over the place. So you can make it as wacky as you like uh, providing it fits on the page and providing you can fit your text box at the side to explain what you've done. change my font size again to 12 to make it readable and we're going to go to Arial. So to do this I converted the text to outlines. I changed some of the letters I use the rotate tool and the resize tool so you don't have to write exactly what I've written you can put that into your own words uh, as detailed as possible please have a go